Welcome to the nine levels of jazz improvising part two. Be sure you to watch the part one video because this lesson follows a sequence that builds on each other. I put the link in the description section below. As with the part one video, what we will be expanding on further is how to make your jazz line sound good. We will continue with proven methods that jazz masters use to construct great solos. So stick around. You'll get some free stuff if and you stay till the end of the video. Level 6. Using triplets. Triplets have always been a big component to the language of jazz. So let's look at a couple of examples. <laughs> That last example is already starting to sound more bebop, right? It sounds more like something Charlie Parker might have played. Notice how each level we get to, it starts sounding better and better. Let me know if you think these ideas are going to help you with making your jazz solos better by typing jazz rocks. Jazz rocks, man. You dig? Level 7. Get more blues into your lines. I'm not saying every line, every solo, has to have the blues in it. But it's great to pick and choose when to add it when you feel it's needed. If you're not sure how to get more blues into your lines, a quick way to get more blues sounds is applying the blues scales. Playing a major blues scale over chords that have a major triad works great. So that includes major seven chords and dominant seven chords. Similarly, you can use a minor blues scale over a minor chord. And it also works great over a dominant seventh chord, because that's what the blues is, right? You can also use the scale that you use on the two minor chord for the five chord as well. I decided to use triplets in this next example. Here's a cool idea. Play a D minor blues scale over the two minor seven chord and then superimpose a B flat minor blues scale over the 5-7 chord. Or try this. Play a G minor blues scale off the 11th on a 2 minor 7 flat 5 chord. In this case, G is the 11th of D minor 7 flat 5. And then superimpose a B flat minor blues scale over the 5 7 chord. The really cool thing is the B flat scale, the B flat blues scale, gives you all the altered notes. It gives you the flat 9, the sharp 9, the flat 5, the sharp 5, plus 
the flat seven. Hmm, maybe I should make a video on superimposing scales over chords. One other thing that you can try is to put more glisses, slurs, and sliding into notes. Level 8. Use arpeggios. Are you still using them arpeggios? Unlike the way we were using chord tones before in part 1, which is arpeggios buried within our line, we're now going to use arpeggios more in the classic sense. Level 9. Mix it all together like a really good gumbo. Now we reached our final level, little bits of all levels combined together. I've prepared an etude for you to study and to learn, to practice. It's called Stella in a Bar Fight. You probably can figure out what song it's based off of. Stella! <laughs> Hey, don't go yet. I really appreciate you visiting my channel, and I hope you liked this part two series on jazz improvisation. If you want to get notified each time I put out a video, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and that's the best way to know when I release my next lesson. And don't forget to download the free PDF of all the music examples in this lesson, including the final solo, Stella in a Bar Fight, that I played at the end of this lesson. It's all written out for you, and the link is in the comment section below. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or give me suggestions on topics you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. And remember, jazz rocks, man. Dig it. <laughs>